Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms. Y'all looking at it, folks? That's why my money's low. We got a chisel plow. We usually don't have the ones with the game blades on the front here, um, but we do have the ones with the chisels on the back. Um, they're usually three-point hitch mounts around here. So are the planters. Well, some of them are the pull types, but we're going with this one. It's a 12 row uh, fertilizers and everything. Uh, it does wheat, barley, corn, beans, you name it, it does it. We will be getting an extra one here a little bit later on that does this probably corn and sunflowers, I think, and beans. Not for sure. Um, show you which one I got. I got this one right here. 1769 meters 120, 120 horsepower uh, holds all that stuff there uh, kind of high in the feel of working speed 11 mile an hour but uh, we also got let's see this one right here mono sim cedar I wish it oh, I don't do soybeans. I wish it done soybeans and fertilize. I have to work on that. I don't know. Uh, I think I can get it do soybeans, but it's this uh, eight row, three, six, yeah, eight row. Um, but it is a three point hitch mount, so that's what I was looking at there. And uh, a little bit later on. I, I wish we could get that, but 540000 Come on now. That's a lot for a planter. But I will be getting uh, this one right here. But I was hoping it would do a little bit more than just that. I was hoping it'd do wheat and barley and canola and stuff too. But hey, at least it does uh, sunflowers, corn, sugar beets, and soybeans. So, uh, that's some good stuff. But anyway. Oh, yeah, I need to go in and turn this down. Vehicle volume down a little bit lower. Uh, might be good. But anyway. Uh, let's see here. We're going to get somebody to drive us over for us. Uh, transfer. Uh, we're going to go to the cow farm. started. Right, of course, stop the last. Alright, well, who we got doing that? I'm gonna get back in the vehicle. We got World War Three Gaming taking that over for us. Alright. Uh, I did put in a couple of mods. Um, let's run over here and show you one. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to help us or not, but these fine ladies right here, they said they give us the best price in town. Now that back in there, I don't know if I want to trust her or not, but don't tell nobody. She got some muscles. This baby here, she's fine, but look at the muscles on that girl's arms and legs. Wow, yeah. Anyway, ladies, y'all have a great day. I wasn't talking about y'all. And these ladies, we're going to have to get some more of them. Well, here's our chicken coop I put in over here, just in case y'all didn't see that yet. Uh, I did install a road over here. Well, I want to say this farmer did, but I actually did it in GE before it crashed on me. Uh, it goes all the way over to the woods. Um... got it up to right here and we're going to have cut some trees down to go on back through here oh I hope I don't get lost and the big bad wolf comes out I actually think I just got lost oh here's the trees oh ow one just hit me there's our stuff I want to show y'all this before we actually get started farming now you're supposed to put the wood here 
and uh, this guy gentleman in here Roberto uh, I think that's his name he he mills the wood and stuff and makes beehives and they load somewhere over in here I don't know if it's there or here and then uh, you take them and you put them in here and bees come Why is there something in there already I don't know what that is. Is that honey already? I had no idea, folks. But anyway, uh, I don't quite know how all this works. Uh, I think I made a boo boo because right there on the sign it shows a pallet and like lumber on it. And if I go to hit my F5, it shows lumber right there. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to have some kind of thing that will make lumber for me in order to get these work. So yeah. Um, kind of stop clearing out trees until I go further on that. But um, before I put seasons in, and by the way we are running seasons now. Uh, yeah. You can see up every Wednesday we got snow and some rain. So I don't know what to do. Actually, I gotta check this map. We are several, several days before we can plant anything. So, um, we can plant grass. That's about the only thing we can plant. Which, in that case, we do have some grass to plant. Um, so on day four, we can start planting. I'm not going to run y'all through that wait time. But folks, um, I did clip this field in our field seven up there. And I do have some lag, and there'll probably be even more lag uh, other than this. But... Um, Field seven's grass and field eleven. I went ahead and done a extra uh, harvest on them, and I don't know. I don't think I had these on the last video, but I went ahead and put in. You can put these in. You can just buy them straight out and put them in. But I put four in of grass, four straw, four hay, and four uh, silage. And you can see I got. I don't know why these don't cover, I guess because they're wrapped, but I, I love how they cover them like this. But uh, we got uh, one full one of hay here. Um, our chicken should be doing alright, let's check them real quick. Yeah, they good and healthy. We're breeding chickens, we're up to 32. Um, after they get to, I think 500. I might, might not be that many. I might switch over. Well, let's go ahead and get these barns open and show y'all what I got. Uh, as you know, we got a couple of these trailers now. Uh, we still got the wind roller. Pretty much still got everything there is. Um, I think y'all seen that in the last video. I'm not for sure, but it was at the pigs. I brought it up here. Uh, I think I only got one of those. But I've uh, been doing some rolling with the 8350R. Uh, yeah, the, excuse me, my nose kind of sniffling in there. Um, got a bug in my eye. And uh, and uh, it's making my eyes water, which is making my nose running. Well, I put the mower and baler and stuff in here. And we got a trailer there. I do not have an animal trailer yet. I still got to buy it. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I got to find out where the manure is uh, at. Is that it here? We have to clean it. Ooh, I'm stepping it. Yeah, I never noticed that before. I was wondering where the manure was going, and it's all out here. So we're gonna have to 
clean that up. That's interesting. Uh, I gotta get a manure spreader. What? I think we got. Oh, I didn't want to open you, but okay. I was trying to jump over. Thank you, sir, for shutting back. Um, yeah, right here, our manure spreader. It's not much of one, and there's our liquid one. Now, our liquid manure is going to be going for fertilize. Now, uh, let me stop this guy here. We got to, uh, stop driver. All right, uh, we're going to detach. Probably should have parked it somewhere else, but I'm going to use this trick to show y'all. I used a roller to go back to original ground, and y'all can check out the last episode. This uh, was soybeans right here. That came all the way up to pretty much right here and out to here. Now, I owe this to R.D. Allen. Please go check out his channel. Now, it's not in the description. Just, I hate to say this, but Google it. It's R.D. Allen. And watch his episodes on Blake Farms. Uh, him and his buddies came out to here. I don't know how far they actually came out, but I came out a full nine meters width or down through here. So I have room to work around instead of driving a semi through that building right there, which just it couldn't happen, folks. So now I can drive a semi down through here and actually load these babies right here. But after getting here, I'm like, that is a lot of room. So I'm going to recalculate these, or pretty much when they get empty. If I get time, I might move them over to the other side over there. Uh, I like to have one of each over here because it helps out doing the mixer wagon. But I need to move these back some and put them beside the building here. Like, just take that grass one and put it right here beside the building. That way I have room for the semi come through and still have room for them. And the semi will be able to make the turn. Because they'll be coming right here. And with those out of the way, he can actually cut and make that turn without getting into the crops. But I got a lot more to explain, but uh, I want to go ahead and get the sprayer going. Now we need to get that poop wagon out and load up some poop and broadcast it. Uh, we probably only got enough to do field three over there, which is right across the shop. So I'm going to park this guy here and uh, I'll explain that road here in a minute. Let's get a, a good decent tractor. Let's go ahead and open up these doors. Eh. Eh. A little rusty. Need to oil them. Um. I don't know why it keeps doing that either. It keeps popping out. Um. I think I'm going to use a 7800. I just I like this tractor a lot more. Uh, our ripper right there. Uh, as soon as we get slinging some uh, poo out and stuff, we're going to start using that. But for whoop 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 whoop, wrong one, Mr. Blue, wrong one. Uh, folks, I want to do a little question for y'all. Do y'all like Mr. Blue Farms or would you prefer me to just use Tommy Miller Farms? Um, just use my real name. Um, I thought of Mr. Blue, but Mr. Blue is actually a, you know, another YouTuber out there. He's a singer. Um, I came the wrong way, didn't I? I sure did. Let me turn around here. There is no way of getting in right there. Um, 
but uh, yeah, we're going to take the liquid manure and use that for fertilization. Uh, which also makes fuel. Uh, it does work. Alright, ladies. I'm fixing to come through. But first, before I do this, folks, I have to, uh, um, I'm going to have to run down here. Y'all, you know, excuse me. I'm going to cut this part out or fast forward. I hope I remember to cut that out. Ah, there she is. Oh, what happened? Oh. Auto save. Always at a bad time. I put the J&M grain cart in here and here's our fertilized tanker. And we got our John Deere 4730 sprayer. Now, I like a sprayer. Um, I don't like the inside windows. It's a, a glaze over them. Uh, this is kind of an old style dash. Uh, except for the monitor. I guess it'll work. Yeah, you got plenty of room. Now what we need to do is start spraying. Um, I think I'm going to see go, going through these uh, I think that's where Jason lives I'm not for sure and this sucker has a long long boom on it but I do like it because it's got GPS uh oh Um, I got mod conflict too. As you can see, I do have GPS, but I have no idea which way it's going. Um, every now and then, this does this with the. Uh, with the uh, lines uh, what I have to actually do is just do like this and hit new and then do that this is not supposed to come up when I'm doing the GPS uh, it used to be shift and somehow giants or somebody mess with my button configurations but as you can see it's, it's a fix but you have to hit a new thing every time and sometimes you don't line up just right but if you look right down the little rows there and get straight that'll work now before we had a collision here I went and took the collision boxes out and the, to the mod author I am sorry but I won't release this to nobody it's just my and see the mod author is not done with all this out here this is a 2x map and I think it started out with a 4x because you got all that back there I was wondering why it looked different and that's why but I went in took the collision boxes out so we do have two grass fields here that we can uh, use uh, we can say they're ours uh, I haven't harvested them or nothing this time around but uh in the future we will be using them they just help out a lot folks but uh on on well about 20 minutes in I still ain't showed y'all what I wanted to show y'all this might go a little bit longer the 30 minutes just don't do justice to me uh, you can't get everything done that you need to be done with. And these poles here are really annoying, but I do like them. Because they are realistic. Very realistic. They are real, folks. That means you have to watch 
Watch Porter Poles. They are real. Let's see if I can do this. That's right. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't hit it. There we go. And it should. Yeah, there we go. Raise that boom on up some more. Uh, I know y'all probably like. Whoa. Uh oh. I didn't turn sharp enough. Oh. Okay. I gotta get straightened up here. We are spraying a miracle grow. Um, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and spray this field here too. I should have just went straight on out. What would this do that by hand? That does go on up in the woods here a little bit. Um I'm not gonna worry about that piece right there. What I thought about doing is just coming in here and uh, wiping out these woods up to this line right here. I'm going to see what it does if I go past it. Yeah, so you don't own this field. It just, just ain't laid a field down yet, but there's a line right there where the fields ain't been made. Let's go ahead and get this a little bit. Alright, now I want to buy field 8 and 9 this time around. Um, I will be doing some missions, probably all screen. And um, to get up some money. Uh, whoa, a little drift there. Uh, of course, like I said, on the other side of the woods, I'm not going to be particular with, you know, just a little bit over there. Mount right there. All right. Um, folks, I'm going to uh, get this guy going, and I will be back in a second. We'll be doing some uh, loading manure and stuff, so give me just a few minutes uh, to y'all be a second. To me, it'll be probably about 20 minutes. I'm going to go down the tree line here and uh, make sure he's going to work and stuff. So uh, he is hireable. I'll show y'all right here, hire worker. But I do want to get this first through right here done. So he can uh, do everything just right. So I will be right back. I am back here folks and uh where is he at? Oh I got Conrock. Uh which goes by a different name now. I have to it's gonna be edited in the bottom. I think it's Farmer seventy seven or something like that. I'm so sorry I don't remember it off the top of my head. Um uh, yeah, Farmer seventy seven I believe is YouTube name now. 
Uh, it will be down below in the description. Watch out, ladies. I'm coming through. We want to stay out of the mud. I don't know where a good spot to be. Oh, Lord, there's a fence there, Mr. Blue. A.K.A. Tommy Miller. Yeah, so I was going to stay out of the mud. Oh, well. I better shut that off. We'll get a skid scare. Get in here before the ladies get out. But they know not to go nowhere, so I think we'll be safe. Uh, which, by the way, let's uh, go on over and check out the animals. There you can go, 120 sheep, 53 cows. We had three cows, by the way, and about 20 sheep so far all together since I've started. So, uh, and pig food was naturally, we just had water and straw and a little bit of food. Seasons filled it completely up for some reason. I don't know why. So, um, yeah, I just hope everything will work right with them. Alright, let's see if we get manure or straw. Oh, check that out. We are getting manure, folks. We are getting manure. How much manure do we have? 16,849 so that will uh, do a lot it's going to be fun getting up in there it's going to be fun whoa whoa Bubba watch it I almost ran over you I don't know how much this thing here holds so we'll soon find out You too. Where you at? I don't want to hit you. Uh, uh, um, Bubba. Bubba. I know I have red handles in here, but come on. Oh, you gonna walk through my bucket? Really? Really? Oh, you're a girl. Bubba. -bet. Bubba. -bet. It's a uh, her, not a him. I don't know if this is working this way, but I hope so. Cause I know some of y'all like third person view. Uh, I myself don't. So I can hold a little bit more in here, so. Oh, rosy. All right, we got a full bucket. Whoa, whoa. I hate the way this thing steers, especially in this mud. Alright, let's see if we can do this. It's either going to go in the thing or go in the ground. One or the other. Did I get over in it? Hey, I got over in it. Hey. Looks like maybe one more good scoop. I just want to go ahead and get over here. Oh, whoa. Easy, easy, easy. I'm raising the bucket up some so I can steer. Whoa, ladies, this is very hard doing with these ladies in here. How's that going to stop? All right, uh, let's see here. I actually have some in the corner over it. Trying to get these bigger piles. And my bucket's full. Whoa, whoa, don't want to go, hey, I gotta watch what I park up there. I thought it was solid ground, but I might cave in. All right, let's see here. Oh, by the way, check out my mini map. Y'all want to know where all that red is? Well, that's what needs to be plowed, folks. It's the same thing as on this map. Now, let me go down here, turn the grass on. That way you can see what all, come on, there we go. Um, that's the fruit types, seven fours, grass. Everything, everything's harvest, as you can see right here. Everything purple is harvest. Oh, kind of like going across field five, good. Um, as you can see, everything in red needs to be plowed. And everything in the blues has been sprayed. 
uh, seven and four did not spur you in eleven. So uh, I'm curious to see if Conrock's going to go ahead and go to field ten also. Uh, it's got to be sprayed. That was our canola field. But I'm letting him spray the bigger fields and the fields round across here will spray with the manure. Um, I'm wanting to try to keep this down a little bit so uh, on time wise. But I do want to get a full load. I want I'm curious to see what that thing's going to hold. So let's grab some more of this right here. Oh my, it's kind of thick down in here. Oh, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. All right, go first person. Ah, come on. Is that full? Yeah, I'm 99% full. Okay. For some reason, I don't go to 100. Alright, there's right, Bubba Jr. Alright, I gotta go third person. I don't know what second person is. I really don't, folks. Oh, that still didn't. Whoa. Now that's weird what you get for trying to go through my vehicle girl well come on now come on yeah you, you can walk through me but I don't want to go through you somebody might say something oh kind of hard putting that bucket down For some reason I don't want to pick it up right there. Might because it's a lot of it or something, I don't know. Whoa, come on now. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of big piles of it right here. I guess because I let it set too long. Alright, we got full. It's going over here. This will be our last bucket. And, uh, cause some of y'all probably want to see me slinging out. I want to kind of see what this thing will do. Oh. Oh, what? Really? Oh, man. Alright, auto save. You can quit doing that. Alright. Oh, we got to load the bucket for next time. 8,000. Okay. Alright, watch out, Rosie. Rosie Posey, whoever you are. It's hard to keep up with the names. Alright, see, none of them even try to get out. That's good ladies. But I am going to shut it behind. Alright, ladies, I'll be back. Betsy, I'll be back. Oh, I forgot to leave the cultivator in the field. I mean, in the driveway. I think we'll put the 8350 on it. I'm not for sure. Uh, my GPS would be messed up. Whoa, out of ditch, out of ditch. So let's do this, do this kind of manually. First, you need to unfold. Oh, wow. Um... A unfold. Oh, we got raised back up. That's would be a good explanation. Okay, let's just see how wide this thing really is. That's the wrong one. Uh, manure spreaders uh, right here. Oh, we got the baby one. Eight meters. Okay. Oh, look at that big boy. Fifteen meters. Oh, seventy thousand. We need a good front loader to do that. We might upgrade it to that in any way here later on. All right, let's get started. 
tall, not very wide. Okay. That'll work. At least we're doing something with it, right? Yeah, I wish they would uh, fix the big map where it would do that too. Oh, look, Conrad Smart. He's fertilizing 10 for us. Awesome. Alright, we're just going to do the outer edges for sure. Now this will help us cut back. Uh, and by the way, that mini map refreshes every 60 seconds, so that's why y'all see it flashing. Uh, I think it's a good thing, because like, if you want to know where to go next and you're close by, you can just... Hey, look! Okay, I need to go fill three next. Okay, I need to go fill one. Oh, all right. Um, but yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna probably uh finish this load out. Go back and get another load. I'm trying to do fill three completely with the manure spreader. Get all the manure out and uh. Cause that little uh, little sprayer's got a big boom on it, and one round in here, and it'll be completely done. So, well, folks, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I need my GPS working really. That way, I don't waste none of this good Betsy and Rosie and Posies poop. But it's not bad. It, it'll get things going. Uh, we're almost to our first load here being spread. And I made a round all the way around. So I'm just going to pull up just like that. I like doing this squareness. I don't know why. Well, I can't see for the tree. I know I'm over. I don't know what I've done done too much, but I think this first load will get enough to where I can do, I'll get the ends done anyway, put it that way, hopefully, maybe. Six hundred liters left. I don't think I'm going to get down to the end. 78 pulls it no problem. Probably could have put one of the smaller tractors on this. But our 78 is going to be our chore tractor around the farmyard. Oh, I'm out. Alright, let's close the thing. Well, folks, I don't know how long I got it so far, so uh, I guess I'm going to end the episode here. I'll probably finish getting all the poop out and. Um, where am I going? Where am I going? Tell you what, let's pull in the driveway here and we'll go check on uh, Conrock and see what he's got. He's uh, just about done with field 10. Actually, let's uh, go to our iPad here. Oh yeah, he's about halfway through 10. He's got maybe a, a round. He'll be in the short rows. Let's just go check on him. Let's, let's spy in his vehicle here. Uh, oh, he don't even have that. He's got a piece right there. We'll have to watch that because he'll be wanting to spray all the way down. Uh, that's this way these AI workers work. But I know Conrock, former 77, in real life he wouldn't do that. But uh, I wish he was actually on here playing with me and uh, I wouldn't have to worry about it. I do want to get some people in and play in this map, uh, but this map has been edited by me, uh, for me, so uh, it'd be kind of hard to do that. I have to get somebody like like Conrock or you know somebody I know that won't leak this map out because mod authors do not like that. But uh, I did not get to do what I wanted to do on this. Um, so, uh, let's, uh, 
here's my seed storage house uh, got a lot of seeds in here but no fertilizer yet here's the two tankers I bought along with the Kenworth uh, the green tanks going to be for transporting slurry the white tank has got fuel in it well it did have fuel uh, the the yellowish tank there shell tank is to I can take it all the way around the map and stuff and tractors can get fuel out of it directly but um, I did get this Ooh, it's got a, a gauge on it right here 16,624 liters of fuel just off what little fertilizer I got which I haven't got none out of here we got 8,027 liters I take that back I did get some out made a couple of pallets um, oops ah come on now so we got three we got 5,851 liters in here so that's consuming a lot of fuel so I got to remember to get fuel out of this thing which I don't think I got any in it yet I've been using it to pull out of here out of the white tank uh, get out of there the slurry goes in that dry fertilizer and fuel I wish it made liquid fertilizer instead of fuel that would have been a lot better but because we could use our dry fertilizer in here and use our liquid to spray on the fields that would have been a lot better wait 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 our liquid fertilizer goes in here liquid not dry liquid or dry would go in our planters but anyway folks I'm gonna leave this as this uh, next episode we will be doing some plowing and see what else we can get into so uh, thank you for all your support and everything I love each and every one of y'all and I appreciate y'all's love in return uh, thanks for everything folks keeping the comments clean and just everything thank you so much for everything um, there's our sprayer there that I forgot we had but anyway I, I'm just I think I leased that one go in the garage here and go under yes so I got it leased when it runs out we will be switching back to ours so uh, look forward to seeing that in the next episode too probably Anyway, folks, I gotta get off here. Like I said, I love each and every one of y'all. Appreciate the all the love and stuff return, the comments and everything. Y'all are just awesome. But um, I gotta go. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.